Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prep uh, my vegetable garden space uh, for this uh, coming spring in 2021. Uh, if you've been following the channel since last year, I started on a very extensive landscape project here uh, in this house that I'm in, in Raleigh, North Carolina, Zone 7B. And the first time I prepped this uh, garden space over here last year, I actually uh, put down a layer of compost and tilled it in. Uh, I don't normally till uh, vegetable garden space, uh, but that first time I was just trying to get some compost, get some organic material actually mixed in and uh, just kind of build a base. Uh, at this point though, I'm not going to uh, uh, be tilling. All I'm going to do is tear out my uh, winter, my late fall uh, crops, which is lettuce and arugula. And I've got some Brussels sprouts that have actually, um, I got to finish picking this morning some collards, some other things. The cold has now knocked them back. I've got new replacements for these in the house that are gonna go in in maybe a week or so uh, when the temperatures um, moderate some. And uh, so, and then it's just gonna get a layer of compost. I gotta get weeds out of here. I'll use a shuffle hoe, you'll see in just a minute. And then uh, what, I, what, I'm, what I do is I compost the bed and then things get, where things get planted, um, I just plant directly into that compost and that loose, now loose soil that's underneath it. And spaces that aren't getting planted, I actually put down some mulch and that mulch uh, works with weed suppression, uh, which is what, it worked great this winter time, uh, right in here, in, the bet in between rows where I don't have things. I put down mulch and that mulch is breaking down and now becoming part of the garden uh, bed as well and replacing nutrients that the plants are using. So let's get started. In order to keep the rabbits uh, out of this garden space, uh, I do have a uh, fence uh, that goes around the, the base of the uh, structures that I have here and uh, it's a seven foot tall deer fence. It's available on Amazon. I've never unfolded it uh, to seven feet, so it's three and a half feet. And I just put it in a circle around uh, any vegetables that I'm planting or anything I want to protect temporarily uh, and then roll it up uh, each time. I'll put it back on uh, after I've prepped and got everything back in here uh, in, the next few, in the next few weeks. But for now, it's, it's kind of in the way. So I have these uh, really simple uh, bent hoops that I use for um, building little greenhouses out of and uh, hoop houses, uh, things to go over vegetable gardens or whatever, but they're made out of the top rail of a chain link fence and I have a pipe bender uh, that I use to bend these into, into, into shape. There's a video on my channel if you wanna go back and look at that. Uh, you can buy that pipe bender on uh, Amazon and, uh, and pretty quickly make uh, hoops to protect crops you know, from different things or if you're planning on doing propagation or whatever. Uh, I didn't put these up very well, as you can see, uh, going into this, uh, into this fall. I actually didn't bolt them together. I just used some, uh, I just used some ties uh, right here. And uh, the result was it was leaned over the whole time, but it's not been a problem. It, it did the job uh, keeping the rabbits out of here. But uh, uh, I'm going to cut it apart right now and just make it easier to work in here today. Like I said, there's still a few things to uh, salvage in here. I've got some uh, Brussels sprouts here that actually uh, actually look pretty good. I'm actually going to get a pretty good pretty good amount of these out of there. Hopefully, it'll focus on that. But they they look pretty good. I've um, got a couple different groups of those. A little bit of collards left. Uh, there's a tiny bit of broccoli left, probably enough to to cook for uh, one meal that I'll get out of here as well. And then we'll get down to the business of cleaning this thing up. So there's the rest of the uh, Brussels sprouts. Tiny bit of broccoli left. Uh, the beets, which are uh, weirdly formed and that kind of thing, but still good. And the collards right there. That's what I got out of the garden on uh, February, whatever this is, uh, 16th, I think it is. So I think I got everything out of here that was salvageable. Uh, the Brussels sprouts uh, look uh, pretty good. There was a little bit of broccoli left. Uh, some, uh, some, some nice beets uh, were left. I mean, these were, the ones that just got left for a long time. Uh, they weren't the uh, best ones, but they'll definitely, uh, definitely make a meal. And the collards uh, that were left, the newest uh, foliage uh, I've got on those uh, to cook. You'll notice these greens over here look great, I'm sure on camera, but they're bolting. They're already sending up flowers and they've had so much cold on them now, they get super, super bitter. And I've got more in the house uh, to put right back in their place. And uh, this has been cut many, many times uh, over the course of this winter and uh, have, have just kept kept giving. There's drip irrigation in this bed. If you saw me setting this up uh, last year, I've got drip irrigation tubes running through here. I can't, I, let, I, I got this where I can just fold them back 
do prep work in here if I ever wanted to till or something like that and then put them right back into place. I don't, I'm not tilling, so I don't want to pull these uh, irrigation, this irrigation out, but I do know that I got to watch out for these lines uh, that are here. I don't, want to, I don't want to break them as I go, but all I'm going to do is take the shovel hoe and uh, break all of these weeds out. There's some hen bit in here, some chickweed, and then the remains of my uh, uh, vegetables as well. All of this needs to be just broken, broken free from the ground uh, right below the roots and uh, should make pretty quick work of this. So I got two bags of uh, soil cube compost in yesterday. They just delivered them right here onto the driveway. Um, not sponsored by them or anything. I do know them um, and uh, I do like this product a lot. You've seen me use it a few times. I think it's available in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. There may be some sort of bulk compost uh, place in your area that does the same thing, but this is basically a cubic yard of compost. Uh, then they deliver it with a forklift, you know, come right to your, come right to your street. So that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty nice. I am, um, the stuff that I just pulled out of the garden is going to uh, space in the yard that's gonna become a compost bin. I'll be building that this spring. Um, I ended up out of town so much this winter that I'm a little behind on some of those big pro meaty projects like that. But I am making a compost bin next year, so I won't need as many inputs uh, in the future. I'll just be producing my own uh, material. But as this is a new uh, space, I am bringing in uh, this material great product i'm going to open this up uh put it in my cart and uh, get it back there and i'll be putting down maybe an inch and a half of compost and all this is, is all i'm doing here is just replacing the nutrients that the vegetables are using in that space each season that's all i'm trying to do so a couple things before i start dumping a uh, new compost back here number one i want to show you how how the soil looks uh, it's had compost put down on it two times. One time last spring and tilled in, and then another time uh, in the fall. And uh, I'm just replenishing the top now, but you can see why I don't need to till this uh, at this point. Uh, I've improved it quite a bit in a single season, and it will continue to uh, get better with a once a year uh, application of a uh, inch, inch and a half of compost. Right back here at the uh, back of the property, there's a temporary fence. Another fence is going in there, and my compost bin is actually gonna be uh, in this space right here, so I'm already dumping things uh, in, this, uh, in this area already. Uh, and uh, hopefully in the future, I'll be making my own compost. You may need to fill in um, with some, but uh, for the most part, I think I can make it just right here on my own property. So when I started, it was uh, 27 degrees. Now it's a uh, balmy 32, and I had to come out of the uh, had to come out of the coat because I was I was sweating. This only took a couple hours, uh, but uh, uh, but I have the right tools. That shovel hoe makes quick work of the uh, weeding portion. I didn't have to till this time, so uh, ahead of the game there. I used the flat rake to pull that stuff out. Started my compost pile with the stuff that came out. Used the big cart uh, to move that compost uh, back and forth here pretty quickly. And I've got some areas in between here that I still need to do, but that stuff needs to be done with a shovel. That'll take, uh, that'll take a little while longer, uh, obviously, than, than dumping it in a cart and raking it out. But this is my once a year soil replenishment for the vegetable garden. Cool season vegetables will go in here uh, next week and they'll still be in place. That's gonna be beets and broccoli and, uh, and uh, all my lettuces. They'll still be in the ground when the tomatoes and peppers and the summer vegetables go in and I'll just plug those uh, in the middle of them. Uh, once it gets hot, that stuff burns off. They'll come out and then the tomatoes will grow up these uh, cattle panels here, which I left in place. I'm going to put, when I put the um, cool season vegetables in, that uh, uh, deer fence will go back around it, which for me is a rabbit fence. We'll go back around it to keep the rabbits uh, away from my lettuce because they will, they'll devour it. They like it just as much as we do, maybe more. Uh, so there you go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, follow along as I, uh, um, redo this uh, vegetable garden. Thanks for watching.